Please seek the advice from a trained professional before attempting activities performed in this program. My name is Chad Crawford, and I'm pretty much crazy about all things Florida. Pig Snook. Along with my dedicated film crew, we travel the state looking for pure Florida adventure. He's going on the boat! He's going on the boat! Along the way, we'll meet some of Florida's finest. Someone wants to get into surfing, where should they start? Who will show us how to rock the Sunshine State. Woo! And we'll pinch some salt and squeeze a few lemons with our taste czar, Chef Justin. Beef and Florida veggies. So hold on as we show you how to do Florida. Today on the show, we're going to show you how to do land-based shark fishing. Oh, gosh. Every winter, the black tip shark migrates from the North Atlantic to our warm South Florida waters and in epic numbers. So when schools of black tips are just off the beach, it's time to break out the rod and Mac Daddy reel. This is the blue collar man's answer to extreme angling. It's time to strap on the harness, dig your heels in the sand, and get ready for the fight of your life. Silently running off of Florida's east coast is an enormous current of water called the Gulf Stream. The fish in the Atlantic, it's like Interstate 95. Season to season, these fish use this Gulf Stream like a giant highway, moving up and down Florida's east coast. To help us catch a shark, we tag shark phenom Josh Jorgensen. You're, you're a god. Well. Well, he may not be a god, but at the ripe age of 21, Josh is a master angler and the founder and director of the annual Black Tip Challenge, a catch, tag, and release shark fishing tournament. Here, recreational anglers are helping researchers learn more about these magnificent species. Let's shark fish. Step one, it's all about location. If you want to catch a shark, I want to catch a shark. The best time is to come to South Florida between the uh, dates of you know, mid-January to mid-April. Okay. That's the black tip migration. You're guaranteed to catch a shark. Sometimes to get to the best places, we need to go through the toughest yeah. structure. Well, you know, I'm used to being in the boat. I'm not used to carrying the boat. How much more, Josh? Uh, good, another 30 yards. 30 yards? Are you joking? Come no. Here, come, here, no. Come here for a second. Just hold that. Just grab that right there and just see how that feels. Feel that? Yeah. Feels good now. Just keep walking, keep walking. And grab that right there. Okay, just follow him right there, okay? Seriously. I'd say right here is looking like a good spot. All right. <laughs> when are we going to shark fish, Josh? Step two, tackle. We got a swivel up here. Okay. Six feet of 500-pound mono. Okay. Right here, we got another swivel. I had more heavy swivel than the first one. We got a snap with a six ounce pyramid sinker. We got about 15 inches of wire, and we got a circle hook. Man, that is one mean, mean hook. Next, you'll need heavy PVC beach spikes. Ta! Woo! This shark and it's a lot of work. Make sure you hammer deep into the sand for a good, strong hold. How are we looking? Looks good. Josh, let's talk a little bit about reels and outfits you need to come out here and shark fish. You want a, a pretty heavy duty reel. If you can get a 400 yards of, of line on your reel, braided line is the best for surf casting, and you're gonna wanna use a minimum of 65 pounds. What are we looking for as far as a good shark fishing rod? You want something between 11 and 13 feet, and something that, that's gonna cast more than four, eight or 10 ounces, because you standard sinker, you're gonna use it between a five and six ounce pyramid sinker. You'll also need a fishing harness when you hook in that big rod. Ah! Josh normally fishes with three rods. Two rods fish for sharks, while the other rod fishes for shark bait. Step three, shark bait 101. You're gonna look for uh, bloody and oily fish. Okay. Jacks, bonita, ladyfish, blue runners, stingray. The best part is it's very abundant. It's easy to catch. So this jack of is a good casting bait. This is a good casting you, bait, yeah. You cut the head off, and mm -hmm. you put it on the hook, and you can throw it from shore. Yeah. But how would you get something like this out? You're gonna kayak it out. Seriously. I'm serious. This boat is our boat, so we have to be okay with that. It is just a kind of a banana peel that floats. With the lines wet, we wait. But as nightfall came and still no shark, Josh said it was time to set the big baits. That meant boarding the floating banana peel and paddling the bait 300 yards off the coast. So as I got into the kayak and started paddling out, I have to admit, I was a little nervous to say the least. I hope he's okay. So I quickly dropped the bait made my way back to the shore. Woo, definitely one of the craziest things I've ever done. Were you intimidated before you went out there? A little bit, yeah. I was a little scared because you're paddling into oblivion, to darkness, you know? This is shark fishing. This is shark fishing. I love it, man. I love it. 
You want to order a pizza? Josh uses small glow sticks placed at the tip of the rod so you can easily see when a fish is on at night. After 10 hours of staring at the rod and reel, our bait still had no takers. We didn't get one tonight, but we'll be back, right Josh? We'll be back. So no sharks yesterday. Uh, we fished till 2 a.m. and nothing, but today's a new day. Josh, how you doing, hey, buddy? Hey, Chad, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? What is the, uh, what's the system, what's the strategy today? We're gonna use different baits, different fish for bait, and we're gonna change our baits up more quickly. Let's check out the bait Josh got for us today. So we've got some Bonita, uh, big old rainbow runner, look at that thing. Uh, half a king mackerel. With the bait set once again, we wait. Four hours later, all we managed to do was feed the crabs. As the sun began to set on our second day, we headed out to a new spot. Josh says this is the one that's gonna do it. I'm gonna float this whole sucker out there and see what bites it. This is essentially the weight. It's a big breakaway anchor. So when the fish hits it, it breaks this 60 pound bottom, leaves the rock and the fish takes off. Luckily this time, Josh volunteered to paddle out and drop the bait because, well, basically I told him I was done. What if you're out there trying to set this bait and a shark eats you and the bait? I'm gonna feel really bad about setting the hook on that. Then without a word, he headed out past the breakers into the darkness. Josh, I need to know your emergency contact. This is not for the faint at heart, I can tell you that. Once again, we wait. And after over 20 hours and three different locations, we finally get our first real strike. Here we go. Chad, get over here, Chad. Coming in right now, here it is. And just as quick as it came. No. It was oh, gone. Macro. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get away from that hook? That whole king mackerel. Yeah, look at that tooth mark right there. We know something's out there now, right? Yep. Strike one. Then just 10 minutes after Josh drops another bait, we get another taker. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Reel, 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 reel. Keep that line tight, keep that line tight. But again, the line went slack. Keep that line tight. Still there? I don't know. I don't feel anything. Strike two. And just when we were thinking about calling in a night, Fish on. Step four, catch and release. Get the guy, get on the hornet. He's huge. I'm on the hornet, I'm on the hornet. The power of the shark was unbelievable. You still there? Oh yeah. I dug my heels in the sand as Josh clipped the harness into place. They know it's big, but we gotta give him a shot to talk to make sure that he survives. Oh, there he is. It was amazing to see such a big fish in all its glory. Its skin and eye color were spectacular. And although the black tip is considered an apex predator, there's never been a fatal attack contributed to this species. Grab a snow. Yeah. Oh! Watch out, watch out. That being yeah. said, I wasn't taking any chances. Josh quickly removed the hook, tagged, and measured him. Look at that. Tag is in. It's 60 inches. Then all of a sudden. You got another shark going? All right, hey. Oh, gosh. Just minutes after landing our first shark, we had another one on the line. You got him? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna get you the belt. As I started reeling in the second shark, Josh quickly released our first shark hey. back into the water. Oh my gosh. This fish has been the last two days, to be saying. Okay. We'll catch two in the last hour. Just like that, we caught another big, beautiful black tip in the surf. Let's go down there and check it out. Absolutely amazing. Pulling something this big from the ocean on the shore is a once in a lifetime experience. Come on, baby. Let's put you back where you came from. After measuring and tagging this big boy, we sent him back on his way. <laughs> that is what it's all about, folks. Woohoo! Land based shark fishing. You gotta try it. Hey, to learn more about land-based shark fishing, go to our website, howtodoflorida.com.